Fernandez reports the crimes of the work of a new underground network of activists. They call themselves the Paint Panthers. This is their signature. For the last seven weeks, they've defaced fur stores across the country. The latest incident was on the 1700 block of K Street downtown. They've also struck in Denver, Aspen, Cleveland, and Miami. Merchants are not commenting on the action, but industry officials say they well, are increasing security. People have a right to their opinion. You know, we believe animal activists have a right to their opinion, but we think that people truly get turned off and disgusted to the idea of uh, people uh, conducting vandalism uh, for whatever the cause. Authorities do not know who the Paint Panthers are. It contacted Channel 9 last week when it hit a store. Information about its actions have also been funneled through PETA, the animal rights group. They're obviously young activists. I think that uh, all the ones who have called us are women. And they are angry at us as well as people who wear fur because they don't think our actions are radical enough. PETA uses graphic examples of animal cruelty to make its point and civil disobedience, but does not advocate vandalism. It certainly gets people's attention. I'm sad to say it gets more attention than our ads, which show the animals in the leg hole traps or circling in the cages. A brick through a window or some paint on somebody brings out interest, and I wish it were some other way. But furriers say that activists have not hurt sales, that the weather and the economy are the major factors. We're anticipating about a 15 to 20 percent increase in sales this year over last year. I do think some people will discuss the issue seriously as a result of this, maybe by criticizing the activists first, but eventually getting to the cruelty issue, and that might stop people from buying coats. Detectives have not questioned PETA personnel about their role as a conduit for the Panthers, but they have stepped up patrols. Authorities issuing their own message to vandals. An act such as this could mean at least a year in prison. Miriam Hernandez, Channel 9, Eyewitness News.